Hey guys, it's Matt here from Henry Shine, uh, signing on today from my house. So I'm gonna post this up. If you're all seeing this, you may as well be seeing it on the Plan Maker page. So like most of you, uh, everyone's working from home at this point in time. Now, uh, I just wanna throw out a bit of a challenge, see if anyone can beat this, see if you've got some spare time on your hands that you can accomplish something like this myself. So over the next month, I'd say I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna try and organize a handful of demos with some of my clients, show them what version six is gonna be like and whatnot over the next uh, coming four weeks. And once again, my daughter's just down there on the couch watching cartoons, so you gotta deal with this at this point in time, right? So, my challenge was, uh, for the last year, I've wanted to build a computer. So that's kind of been uh, one of the goals that I've wanted to do, build a computer from scratch, and uh, you know, just, do really cool things, overclock it, all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, maybe three to four months ago, I had a dental practice that had a, a plan maker system and they bought most probably one of the original ones that we sold in Australia. So this is 12, 13 years old. It was an old E4D cart. So he rang us up and he's like, look, Matt, I've got no room for this. Come pick it up, take it away. I don't want it anymore. So I'm like, you know what? I'll do that, shoved it in the back of my car, tied it in, and I uh, took it home and I said, great news kids, you got yourself a new uh, video game machine. So I, I installed uh, Minecraft, it was running Windows XP obviously. And then there was a Sunday where I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna see if I can upgrade this from Windows XP to Windows 10 and uh, give it a crack. So I went and did that. So I, I uh, used the old Google and YouTube and I installed Converted it, I, I couldn't save anything that was on there, so that all got deleted. And then I installed Windows 10 64-bit instead of XP 32-bit. And then I'm like, oh, wow, this is incredible. Maybe I could run Remexus on this, like the newest version. So I went around and I'm like, all right, try to install Remexus. And if you can see over here, this is a cart uh, that I'm talking about, that one just there. So uh, I installed Remexus, but due to the screen size, it wouldn't load properly onto the screen. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna pull this apart and I'm gonna build a computer out of it. So what I did, I pulled the internals outside of that cart. Uh, I bought a new case. I uh, So obviously it's running Windows 10. One thing I had to do is I had to change a graphics card. So I had another spare graphics card lying around, which is a old one, but at least you can run the newest drivers on it. So this is essentially, um, what I've ended up doing. So this is now an E4D cart. So I've got the original nine, uh, what was it, a i7 950 CPU. I'm running it off a 240 mil radiator. I've overclocked it, so it's running three point, uh, maybe about 3.9 gigahertz. So it's actually running reasonably well. I had to change out the old 550 Ti graphics card and I've installed a 760. Um, that was just one that I installed. Uh, I pulled out of it like an old unit that we had lying around in the showroom. Um, and then I had, uh, I went and installed a new SSD hard drive. So literally, that is a 10 year old CPU overclocked uh, to pretty close to four gigahertz and I upgraded the RAM as well. So it's running 16 gig RAM. So literally, that is, a 10 year old computer that's running like a new one and as you can see from the screen there that's everything and i've even to the point i don't know if my mouse is plugged in right now it's not that's a bit annoying um oh where's the other mouse do i have it here no oh, hold on here it is here's my mouse so coming through to here look what we got my friends Remexus 6. Who would have thought an E4D cart would be up and running? And, uh, you know, look at that. How exciting. So I haven't yet uh, managed to get the... My next task, obviously, is getting the, um, the Emerald Scanner working with this. So at this point in time, I haven't got that right with my drivers and whatnot with the graphics card. So I'll, uh, I'll be reaching out to someone at Plan Mecca soon. But for challenges go, as challenges go, I, I feel like this has like been a, a, a goal accomplished for me where I've been able to build a CPU. I've wanted to do it for a long time. 
I have grabbed something old and I've converted into something new. So that's pretty much all my challenge. If anyone's got any old E for D carts lying around there, you know, you could spend a few days doing this. If you just order up, all I did was order up extra RAM, an SSD, uh, installed Windows 10 Pro, and then obviously case, radiator, and uh, I've overclocked it in the BIOS. Awesome, I had a fun time. Uh, hopefully you guys can do something like this yourself and fill in some time. And hopefully for the guys in Australia, uh, you know, we'll organize some sort of a webinar soon and I can take you through that version six and show you what it's all like. And just so you all know, obviously for those in America, if anyone knows uh, the Gold Coast, so just in the middle of that little area there, that's surface paradise through there. And obviously I'll live in the hinterland part of the Gold Coast. Nice part to live. It's a nice place in Australia, I'd say to, uh, to hide. So everyone around the world, take care, all the best. And uh, we'll be up and running before you know it. So for all the Plan Mac users out there, good luck. And I'll uh, no doubt I'll be hanging around the, the Facebook page to uh, yeah, chill out and, and uh, help people. Cool, catch you guys, bye.